Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Arnie Diaz Show. Today's show, a review of The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, starring Nicolas Cage. The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent is a movie that is based off Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage plays himself in a movie about Nicolas Cage. I think I'm saying this a lot lately. I don't know what it is. There's just been a lot of really good movies released lately. The North one was really good. I also just watched Everything Everywhere All at Once and that was also really good. And this was also a really good movie. It really was. Um, Nicolas Cage always brings it. No matter what he does. Even if he's doing like a low budget throwaway movie that he's using to pay his bills. He always brings it. You can never say that Nicolas Cage never brings it to a movie. At its core. The unbearable weight of massive talent is a story about an actor, Nicolas Cage, who is down on his luck, hasn't secured that next big role, and has the opportunity to go to a super fan's birthday party for a million dollars. That super fan, Pedro Pascal. And it turns out that that super fan may be the head of a large cartel. And the CIA employ Cage to infiltrate the cartel leader's compound to find something. But the story really centers on Nicolas Cage trying to live life knowing that his best roles are in the past. And Nicolas Cage really brings it, like he brings it to every role. Nicolas Cage is also playing a super caricature version of himself and he just delivers. Like, it is crazy how much Nicolas Cage does not mind just going full crazy with his own persona. Like, like kudos to Nick Cage for like going full all into it, full bore into it. There are definitely some actors who wouldn't be able to do the things that he did, you know, playing the kind of crazy outlandish version of themselves that Nicolas Cage does, but he does it wonderfully. Apparently before the movie started production, Nicolas Cage wasn't sure about actually entering the film because, reportedly, it just made too much fun of him. But he takes it in stride and really chews the scenery as himself. And it's fun and it's funny. Another standout of this film is Pedro Pascal. Pedro Pascal plays the supposed cartel leader and big Nicolas Cage fan that invites Nicolas Cage to his birthday. Their relationship expands and really is the heart of the film. Pedro Pascal is also incredible as a sympathetic super fan of Nicolas Cage. And their bromance, yes, bromance, blossoms into the highlight of the film. They're fun, and it's an incredibly funny and hilarious ride that you go on to this whole movie with them together. I laughed out loud several times in this movie in ways that I haven't in a long time in a movie theater. This movie is really fun and funny. Now, it definitely harkens to some like really big action tropes, but at the end of the day, it's all played for shtick, and this movie knows exactly what it is and doesn't stray far away from taking itself too seriously. It does dive into the melodrama of Nicolas Cage's life and the way that his family is taking his success and the way that he brings his success into the family. And those parts of the movie are good and they're really acted well. The little bit of drama that happens in this film is actually great and it really helps to inform the overall story. Albeit the story being a little bit nonchalant and a little bit paint by numbers when it comes to these kinds of stories it doesn't drag and it keeps rolling all the way to a very interesting and satisfying conclusion also this film is at its surface a homage to Nicolas Cage's entire career and so if you know a lot about his recent work and his past work you'll also find a lot to enjoy about this movie as well there are moments in the plot that drag a little bit, and also a little bit of plot holes here and there. But at the end of the day, the performances of Pedro Pascal and Nicolas Cage and their relationship really hold it all together and make for a really fun and exciting movie. I would actually love to see both of them together again in another movie, to be honest. 
Patrick Pascal is perfect. And him working with Nicolas Cage, who always brings it, is a true joy. This movie is pure popcorn hilarity, and it is just fun. I give The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent a 3.5 out of 5. Really, 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 really good. It slows down a little bit, and the plot is a little convoluted towards the end. And there's definitely some weird CIA stuff that you don't really understand what's going on. But at the end of the day, it's really fun. It's innocuous, and it's just a good, good, good time. Thank you very much for watching. If you're interested, I have done a review of Everything Everywhere at Once and The Northman. Also, really, really good movies. I am Arnie Diaz 89 on all social media platforms. Thank you so much for watching.